Hello friends, welcome back to another video tutorial in Revit architecture. I am architect Sonu Rai from Glad Studio and in this today video tutorial, I am going to discuss with you insulation in Revit and you will understand what is insulation weights and how it is used in construction industry and then how we can represent in drawing by using insulation tool in Revit. So I am going to my annotate tab here and if you will come here just below revision cloud and detail group you can see this insulation term this is insulation tool so it defines it places a bad insulation graphic in a detail view you can adjust the width and length of the insulation and resize the bulge between insulation line so first we need to understand what is insulation bad so i am going to make you understand what is insulation bad so it will come to the definition of insulation bads so bad insulation is a type of insulation blanket these are pre-cut section of insulation that are usually fiberglass although cellulose mineral wool natural fibers and plastic versions are also available based for unfinished wall floors and ceilings this is one of the most common products used to insulate walls so this is basically used for insulating our walls so it is used in green homes and where the heat is more and where the cold is more you can use different types of insulation so uh, it will uh, come to the uh, various types of insulation so it is available in rolls and pre-cut panels so bad insulation is very flexible so you can see some uh, various types of uh, some uh, insulation bats so mineral wool fiberglass wool and plastic fibers are there and if you come down here i will show you one example of wall here you can see there is a insulation bats between these two walls so it is used for thermal insulation in buildings so if you are an architect or in, uh, construction professional or interior designer you will be aware of this fact that for uh, thermal insulation we need to insulate our walls and it can be used in cold climate also as well as uh, where the heat is more so you can insulate your walls so this is the method of insulating walls so i will make you understand how to represent in drawing in Revit so you can see this image this is also insulation of walls so i will go to my Revit here and now i am going to draw a wall and then i will show you how to make insulation in that so i am going to my architecture tab and i am going to wall here and i will select uh, this wall exterior brick over cmu so i am going to draw a wall here and i will keep the height 10 feet so this is to just to make you understand i am drawing this wall here and this uh, we will cut section of this wall and i will insert uh, insulation so first we will go here detail level which is selected fine so make sure this selected fine or medium if you select course here you will be not able to uh, see the various details of this wall so you are required to make it either medium or fine so i'm going to make it medium so you can see so but we are not sure where we are required to put this insulation so i am going to draw a section of this wall so i will cut a section of this wall and now we will go to the sectional view and also this is not visible because it is set to detail level course so we are required to select medium or fine so i am going to select uh, fine here and now we will go to edit type and then you are required to select this section modify type so you can see uh, this is the structure of this wall so outer face is a brick here and there is a cavity and then some metal stud is there so we, we are required to fill this insulation bat in between this metal stud and this brick wall so then you can insulate your wall and also you can go to a structure and you can find out so this is exterior cmu which is set to three feet this one and this is the exterior brick so i am going to 
uh, insulate in between metal stud and this brick wall so I will go to my drawing here and if you want to represent your detail in this sectional view we can draw a insulation wall insulation bed in this uh, gap so I am going to draw insulation bed here so I am going to annotate here and then I will select insulation and then you can see this insulation width is by default three and a half inches and you can also increase or decrease this size here and you can also do it from here also so now uh, you can offset this also and it is selected to center so if i am going to draw insulation bed here so if i am going to draw from this end so it is drawing to the section uh, center of this wall here and now if i am going to select this near side and if i am picking this end it is going to this way so we are required to select the right one to far side here and now i am going to draw this so you can see this three and a half inches is perfectly placed in between these metal studs and wall so our wall is insulated so you can use to represent your details in your drawing so this tool is very handy this insulation and if you want to uh, show it in your uh, plan view we can do it separately so this is just for sectional view and if you go to your realistic mode we can do this realistic view also so likewise can give your detail on the side by representing in sectional view or plan view so if you want to represent in plan view we can go to again insulation and you can start drawing by using this far side and you can start drawing if you want to show in plan view this detail so likewise you can draw uh, various uh, walls here and you can start doing this detail this to represent insulation so likewise you can do this kind of detailing if you want in your drawing so this will is very handy tool in Revit architecture so this was the tutorial for the today's session in the next session I will come with some more interesting topics in Revit architecture please like share and subscribe my channel bye bye